Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just had every single one of them arrested. The entire Democratic Party is furious. Illegal immigration is a concern for many Americans, and the Trump administration has made it their mission to stamp it out as much as possible and crack down on criminals. One story that recently surfaced in the conservative media is something that everyone should be worried about. During a sting operation to try and rein in a plethora of illegal aliens, over 475 gang members were arrested by law enforcement agents with Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE. 65 were released by an American immigration judge while merely four were actually maintained on arrest for criminal charges. A recent report indicates that 99 MS-13 gang members who came to the United States illegally were unaccompanied minors. Sadly, over 64 of them, the majority, were granted the status of special immigrant juvenile. This special designation is a quasi-amnesty program for those who cross the America-Mexican border illegally. Breitbart News reported. Nearly 100 recently arrested MS-13 gang members arrived in the United States by crossing through the U.S.-Mexico border as unaccompanied minors and then getting resettled throughout the country by the federal government. About 475 gang members have been arrested by the Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE, agency's Operation Matador Sting, with 99 of those gang members arrested having arrived in the U.S. as unaccompanied minors. Of the 99 MS-13 gang members who entered the country as unaccompanied minors, 64 of them were granted Special Immigrant Juvenile Status SIJ, which acts as a quasi-amnesty program for young illegal aliens who cross the southern border. Of the 475 gang members arrested by ICE in this operation, 65 of them had been allowed to be released into the U.S. by an immigration judge, while four were rearrested on criminal charges after they were released. Unaccompanied minors who cross the southern border have continued to be resettled across the U.S. despite a direct correlation of the quasi-amnesty program, known as the Unaccompanied Minor Children UAC, program, with the proliferation of the MS-13 gang in regions of the country like Nassau County and Suffolk County in New York. Under President Trump's administration, the UAC program has continued. For example, in fiscal year 2018 thus far, Nearly 200 unaccompanied minors have been resettled in Suffolk County, along with almost 280 in Queens County, and more than 115 in Nassau County, despite the region's issues with the MS-13 gang. Miami-Dade County also struggling with a massive illegal alien population, has had to take in nearly 400 unaccompanied minors thus far in fiscal year 2018, as well as Palm Beach County, which has had more than 33 unaccompanied minors resettled in the region. This large sting operation is not the only one that has taken place that led to the arrest of MS-13 members. In Maryland, six members of the street gang were seen before a federal grand jury. All of the perpetrators were aged 19 to 22 and a part of a nine-count indictment. Their crimes ranged from MR, racketeering, to conspiracy. The Baltimore Sun reported. The latest indictments come roughly two weeks after an MS-13 member from another Maryland community was convicted in a federal racketeering conspiracy. Raul Ernesto Landover Giron of Silver Spring was found guilty of MR in aid of racketeering and faces a mandatory sentence of life in prison. Following that conviction, U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions said Maryland has suffered terribly because of the uniquely barbaric gang's criminal activities. In charges announced Thursday, Juan Carlos Sandoval Rodriguez, 20, is accused of luring a victim to a park in Annapolis, where he and other alleged MS-13 members and associates murdered him. Prosecutors believe the March 2016 KG was motivated by a desire to enhance or maintain rank within the gang or gain status as a member. In October 2016, four defendants allegedly attempted to MR two others in Annapolis, largely by stabbing the victims repeatedly. Last year, Sessions designated MS-13 as a priority for the Department of Justice's Organized Crime Drug Enforcement Task Force. That designation directs prosecutors to pursue all legal avenues to target the gang and lets local police agencies tap into federal money to help pay for gang-related investigations. MS-13, or the Maris Alvatrucha, is believed by federal prosecutors to have thousands of members nationwide, primarily immigrants from Central America. It emerged in the 1980s from a stronghold in Los Angeles. But its true rise began after members were deported back to El Salvador in the 1990s. President Donald Trump blames lax U.S. immigration laws for allowing deported members to return to the U.S. Federal authorities say the danger posed by the decades-old street gang has been increasing. During a December stop in Baltimore, 
Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen described MS-13 as a threat to our homeland security. Immigration remains a hot-button issue. While conservatives argue that we need to toughen up on border security liberals have argued we need to be more generous with children who were brought to the United States illegally by their parents when they did not have a choice. The rise in gang violence by gangs such as MS-13 that are run by illegal immigrants has pushed this controversial debate to the forefront of news outlets all across the nation further dividing people. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.